Hello everyone, welcome back to my Python UI application series. In previous video we made a simple converter program which was converting from euros to dollars and today we are moving on to some more advanced features in our Qt designer. Today we will be using a list widget. So if you want you can create new project in our Qt designer or you can just modify the old one. So I will just resize it a bit and add our list widget, like this. Resize it a bit, okay. Then I will remove line edit and change the position of button and line edit. Make sure again that you remember the name of your widgets in our new program save it and go to your python code you can delete the old one and the function you have to keep our imports and uh, Im import of design so what we want to do we want to add item from uh, this line edit to our list widget so we basically will be made making a shopping list so you, we need to add item to our list widget when our button is clicked so first we need to add a signal for our button so dlg dot the name of our button push button add item then dot clicked so when our button is clicked connect it to method or function which will be called add item. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, so let's declare it right here. Okay, so in this function we need to add item to our list widget. So dlg again dot list widget dot add item and here the text we want to add to our list widget. So text will be the text inside this line edit. So dlg dot line edit item for me dot text like this. Okay, let's try it if it works. F5. Okay, let's type some items. Okay, Apple. Okay, orange, uh, but we can see a problem that this text won't go away after clicking the add button. So this is one mistake we have to fix. And also if we leave that um, empty and add it, you, for now you can't see it, but if I add enough items, you will see that items, that blank items are adding to our list widget so we have to fix that as well so go to our code and first thing we need to do is clear the uh, our line edit so we can copy this code here Control c and paste it right here and change this to set text and to empty string of course and then we have to check if our line edit is empty and if it is we won't add item to our list widget so at the start of our function we have to type if statement so if our line edits text so i can just copy this okay and it equals to empty string like this then do nothing else add item so the better way is to uh, to type if not dlg line edit text is equal to empty string then add item and set text to empty string like this okay we can try if it works f5 for run okay so again we can add some items okay uh, now we will 
try to add empty ones and as you can see nothing will happen you can also add a message box so if this line edit is empty then and you are clicking uh, add button message box will show and uh, and tell the user that this is impossible to do uh, there is a lot of things you can um, do to make this program more, more useful and better but uh, I'll leave that to you for example what you can do you can do after clicking the button that uh, always after adding the item our line edit is focused again and of course at the start of the program that this line edit is focused and uh, another thing is to add placeholder and of course the shortcut for uh, instead of clicking the button that we can press enter or return and add item uh, if you don't know how to do it you can check my previous videos for that so this is it for this tutorial i know it was short but in next tutorial i will show some things more advanced we will be reading and writing to file actually a json file and we will be able to make this program that will save those elements so if you can see now if i close the program and run it again those items are not saved so this will be making in next video